Hey guys, this is Rick. With a recent event in the Bitcoin community, I thought I'd zoom in a little bit on one of these frequent quotes that, that are being that is being thrown around, which is small minds discuss people, medium minds discuss events, and large minds discuss ideas. And somehow this has been twisted as in making it punishable by the community to discuss and sanction bad behavior. And this quote has been brought up by a lot of people, myself included, I want to emphasize that. And this is this quote doesn't really mean that you're not supposed to bring up bad behavior. Quite to the contrary, and let me explain why. This when you're looking at ideas, as in large minds discuss ideas, there are basically two types of ideas that can come into question. One is ideas like freedom of the press and how to write a constitution and these grandiose ideas about how we are building a society at, at the macro scale. The other kind of ideas are more like the projects. We're going to build a wallet. We're going to build sound money. We're going to build a new eco economic system. We're going to make it possible to blah, 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 blah. And in this case, the ideas cannot exist separately from the people who are carrying them out. So you need to consider when you're seeing somebody care, talking about an idea like this, you actually need to consider, can they deliver on it? And the idea is only as good as the capacity for people to deliver on it. In this way, we need to separate three different concepts. The person, as in, do they speak with a funny accent? Do they not wash their clothes? People, things that are gossip material. This is small minds material, gossip. The characteristics of the person, can they deliver? Do they have a track record? Are they punctual? And the behavior of the person, are they polite? Do they treat their colleagues with respect? Do they inspire confidence to build a community? The person and their behavior is not the same thing. Because if you're talking about a bad behavior, it doesn't matter who it applies to. I can talk that Alice is behaving badly and that criticism is just as valid as when Bob or Carol is exhibiting the same behavior. This is crucial. So somebody can be exhibiting bad behavior as in you're investing in a friendship with them or a some sort of trust relationship and all they are doing in return is taking your time, money and or energy. And that is an abusive friendship, if you like. That is not a good friend. And leaving this friendship is going to take some sort of pain. You're going to realize that you've been mistaken. You're going to realize that you've been betting on the wrong horse, if you like. And that's, that's a painful process. And we have to acknowledge that. If you if you want another clear distinction about this person versus behavior distinction, when we're criticizing Nigerian prince behavior, when we're talking about scams, this is Nigerian scam, this is Nigerian prince scam. We are not really talking about the Nigerian royal family, are we? We're talking about a predatory behavior that deserves criticism and deserves warning. I don't even know if there is a Nigerian royal family. It doesn't matter. I can still talk about this behavior and warn about it. So this distinction is crucial. If you want to put in another, if you want to see it from another angle, when I'm talking to investors, they are putting different amounts of value into different parts of a prospect, of an investment prospect. And my impression of the number most people use 
when deciding to invest or not, is that they're putting 70% on the investment decision onto the characteristics of the founder of this startup. Let me express that differently. The characteristic of the person is worth more than twice all the other assets of the startup combined. These are hard numbers. This is hard money data. This is not wishy-washy, we shouldn't discuss people. This is what breaks or makes an economy. And, and, and so it's what makes or don't make you successful. So this is what investors have come up with. And so I think it's worth paying attention to. Going forward, excising one, is it excising? Yeah, I think it is excising. Excising one bad person from a community doesn't fix, is not a permanent fix for against bad behavior. Rather, what's good about what's happened now is that we have to some extent learned to recognize this behavior. We have to some extent been inoculated as a community at the very least with this current set of participants and can recognize this behavior when it occurs again and penalizing that behavior if and when it occurs again is not being small-minded and discussing people. It is caring for the community. It is carrying the idea of sound money. It is defending the idea of sound money. For at the end of the day, that idea is not any stronger than the community who wants to see it happen. Thank you.